Hi, I'm Kim Kenny, Executive Director of the McKinley Presidential Library and Museum. Welcome to the Keller Gallery, where we are hosting the Smithsonian Traveling Exhibition, Writing a Wrong, Japanese Americans and World War II. When we booked this exhibition back in 2019, we had no way of knowing how timely it would be in 2021. We hope that you will use this exhibition to start a conversation about the racial injustices Asian Americans have endured over the last century and beyond. Japanese internment camps may not be as widely known in our area because Japanese immigrants settled on the West Coast and many of the camps were located in Western states. We wanted to bring this important exhibition to Stark County so our visitors could learn more about what happened, what it was like to live inside a camp, and the lasting impact of Executive Order 9066. When you tour this exhibition, we hope you will take a moment to put yourself into their situation so you can better understand what it was like. Imagine only having a few days to find someone to take care of your farm, to store your belongings, or sell a business. What struck me the most, which I had not thought of before, is that these families had to find home for beloved pets who could not come with them. I cannot imagine saying goodbye to my two cats and not knowing when or if I was ever going to see them again. When Japanese Americans left for the camps, they could only take what they could carry. This bag was used by the Yamada family. You may find it surprising to learn that 30,000 Japanese Americans served in the military during World War II while their families were living in these camps. More than 6,000 served as translators and interpreters. The words we use matter. In the 1940s, the War Relocation Authority used bureaucratic terminology to describe its operation. Scholars and members of the Japanese American community have since raised questions about how this language shaped or even distorted perceptions of the federal government's actions. Developed all terminology to more accurately describe what happened, terms that are gradually being more widely accepted. The Smithsonian has used these new terms throughout the exhibition. For example, instead of saying evacuation, they said forced removal. Instead of relocation center, they say incarceration camp. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan signed the Civil Liberties Act, providing an apology and $20,000 to the living Japanese Americans who were incarcerated during World War II. On that day, he said, no payment can make up for those lost years. So what is most important in this bill has less to do with property than with honor. For here we admit a wrong. Here we reaffirm our commitment as a nation to equal justice under the law. Writing a Wrong will be on view in the Keller Gallery through July 3rd. We are open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 12 and 1 to 4. We are closed each day from 12 to 1 for deep cleaning. We hope you will come visit this important exhibition and use it as a tool to better understand the experience of Asian Americans in our country.